So this is uh, the sample pattern that you see in the instructions, which involves uh, drawing something and then um, a cut using the cardstock that comes with it. All right, it's telling me to shift the level. All right, I'm pressing OK. Start. So I have the black pen inserted. All right, and uh, the next part of the pattern requires us to take the marker out. I'll put the cap on that in a second. Um, I have the blade underneath. So remove the cap, pop it in with the logo facing forward. Just set it down and then you just press down to lock and that should do it. So I'm just following the instructions here. So I just finished step four. So yeah, now we're on step five and we're gonna do the test cut first. Okay, so go to the machine, select cut and start. So now it's going to cut out like the basket pattern or whatever. So it's pretty quiet. Uh, similar in size to a Cricut Maker, um, a little bigger. Build quality is not quite as solid as the Cricut, uh, but definitely better than a Silhouette Cameo. So it's somewhere in between those two, more towards the build quality of Cricut, but still, um, it's still kind of plasticky feeling and cheap. Um, but it feels alright, it's got the handles on each side, much like the Cricut does. The screen is okay, uh, it's not the most responsive touch screen, but it does get the job done. Uh, menu is sort of intuitive, although I never would have thought to click on the selections that you need to to access the test pattern. Uh, so it's probably just a little bit of a learning curve. Um, the Disney aspect of it is uh, you get some included patterns which are included in like one of the instruction manual booklets. You have to activate them individually. Otherwise, you have just like a couple stick-on emblems like this and two stickers. Yes, literally stickers on the front. So that's kind of cheesy and I feel like a lot of the $599.99 price tag is just the licensing fee from Disney. So unless you're really dead set on having the Disney patterns, I probably wouldn't recommend this model over the other ones because I think it's the same unit, but with Disney stickers, which you can make yourself with the machine. So, you know. So it does seem like the Cricut Maker is definitely faster than this. Uh, I can tell you that right away. But what I do like about this one is that it comes with the two storage drawers underneath. Uh, it shows you estimated time left. Overall, I think this is a really good choice for somebody who doesn't want to be restricted to using a computer um, or just a, a generally another device in order to make cuts or designs. But if that's not a very important feature for you, then this is probably, uh, it's not the best machine there is. It's, it's a lot less cutting power compared to some of the other machines, um, Cricut, Cameo included. 
I should say Cricket and the cameo, in case there's any confusion. You do get two maps included. You get the standard tack and the low tack, which is the one that we're using right now. Okay, it looks like our cut is finished. Aw, isn't that adorable? I do like the cardstock though. But yeah, there you go. I'm just gonna fold it on my own and then take some pictures for you guys, but yeah, it's a nice machine. I mean, I, I do like having the screen instead of being tethered to a computer, I'll admit. Uh, yeah, so it's got some unique features. Uh, it's not necessarily for everyone, but there it's, it's you know, it's got a target audience. Uh, yeah, there you go.